Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video and today I am going to be sharing with you how to record on uh, Streamlabs OBS. So first of all, after you download it, I'm not going to go through that because there's many of the tutorials, but uh, if you don't understand how to download it, let me know and I can make a video on how you download it and this is how you set it up. Uh, but if you guys are new, uh, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Also, uh, if you guys have any other uh, questions and any other tips based off YouTube or on uh, any Minecraft related things, let me know and I can make a video about it or reply to the comments. So first of all, you want to you can see my screen right here now. But if you add the stores, uh, then you can see all these sections that you can choose from. What I do, I do display captures so that I can capture a single monitor, whether a game. So you would click onto that, and when you do that, you'd add source and then. Uh, add the source. I'm not going to do it since I have it set up, but here's what it looks like. If you go into it, uh, you can see this option here, which you can change which display you want to do it or show. Right now, I'm on my second display, my second monitor, but if you wanted it on your first monitor, so you play it on uh, your main monitor, your primary monitor, you would just have it the other way. I'm not going to change it so that it's easier. And then you have uh, what will be showing your second monitor but if you guys don't have a second monitor another thing you guys can do is do window capture uh, which if you add the source you'll click onto it and then you can see uh, whatever application you want to do so whether it's Streamlabs or uh, Xbox console companion these are my four open currently but you can do several applications uh, through that and then you can just, I don't really know if this is different, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be like the capture method and where it stores. Uh, and yeah. So then you'd have that set up. I'm just going to go ahead and delete it, which if you guys don't know how to do that yet, uh, there's this section here where you can click the plus here and you can uh, subtract it by removing sources and, and you just remove it like that. So if you guys don't have any of those ways available, then what the last way I will be showing you guys is uh, game capture, which basically, if you add the source and you click into it, uh, it can. There's four different ways that it can do: either auto capture any full screen application, a specific window, or a, a foreground window with hotkey. I haven't really messed around with the foreground one as much, but the specific window it will give you the option which window you want to capture. Or if you do full screen application, if you want to full screen it, it will show that uh, and not a black screen. Or auto, it will, I don't really do it as much because as anymore, but it's another cool way to do it. So again, I'm going to go get rid of that source. And now this is where we're at. We have a display so that you guys can see the monitor. Uh, next things up is I use my uh, microphone while recording and uh, streaming. So I have my audio input capture here. So basically, uh, you would come down here, add an audio input right here. Uh, it's almost right at the bottom on the left side. Then from here, you would add the source and it's set up. I already have it set up, so I'm going to remove that source again. Uh, and then I'll show you guys what to do. So when you click onto it, it will allow you to see uh, the device. You can either do your default or your stream webcam because my webcam actually has a, a built-in recording thing or the default which is like what your system default recording is for me my laptop is uh, me just look, uh, talking into my laptop so I'm going to leave it with my microphone for now um, ways to set it up there's different ways for different uh, microphones so there's no specific way to set it up so now that you got your audio input capture you're going to need your audio output capture, which is your actual game uh, capture, like your game audio. So what you would do for that is, again, add source and audio output capture. Then you would add the source. I'm not going to do it since I have it. But uh, if you click into it, it would, I just do default because it's easier. But you can do the speakers if you want. Uh, so that's two different ways that you can do it. Uh, and now that you have that set up, that's the main way, and this is like the basis of the recording. Obviously, you won't have your streamlabs right here 
and either on your second monitor or it won't be showing at all. And add, uh, if you want to have a few extra things, that's pretty fun. Basically, I'll show you guys a few. So uh, alert box is pretty important. It just shows like if someone starts following you or if they start to uh, if they subscribe to you, what not, what not, donate anything. Uh, I don't really have anything too specific to show about this, but um, you just come here and then you can see uh, the I have the default ones for everything just because it's the easiest way. But uh, it would say their name, uh, subscribe. If you, I messed with this before. So basically, you have to do the uh, brackets, I think that's called. The squiggly one, I don't really know what it's called. Um, and then just do name within it. And it's like a command that will do their name and its basic. Uh, but then you can do whatever message after, like whatever their name is, has subscribed, for instance. Uh, I have caps lock on by accident. But then you can change your font with it, change font size, font weight, color, anything you really want. You can change the image if you wanted to and the uh, animation, which is what I've messed around with a little bit. And those are a few things that you can do with the alert box. Now that it's set up, I'm going to show you another thing that you can do. Uh, there's a bunch of goals. Uh, things the donation and subscription goal which basically work the same but also the subscription goal so basically uh, this is a past goal I've set so I want to end this goal and do something different so let's say I want to have uh, 150 subscribers uh, by the uh, and I want it named uh, let's say 2021 then my, right now I currently have 141 subscribers so I have that starting around there and whatever the day is, which would be uh, 01 because it's a month, then the day, which would be 01, then you want the year, which it has to be built out uh, completely, so 2022. And I would start the goal, and now it's set up here, which it shows the title above, how close you are to getting there, the percentage, and how many days you have left. So, that's one way, and then if you want to do the visual settings again, different colors, different things. I don't really mess around with this as much, but that's another thing if you wanted to set it up. You could set it up like that, and it's pretty easy. Uh, next thing I'm going to show you, sorry I didn't click into that. Uh, this is going to be the last thing I show you guys uh, for this stream, which is very simple to do. Uh, I said stream, I meant video. Um, that is the... Uh, uh, viewer counter. In my opinion, it's pretty cool to have when you're post or when you're streaming to see how many viewers you have. I already have mine set up how I like it. So then you would just position it wherever you want, but just change it a bit. Uh, you would do here, and you can change the background color, what other, whichever streams you have. So I only do uh, streams to YouTube with this, but technically with this, with the prime version, you can go and change from or do three different streams to Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube at once. So that if I enable all three, it would give me all three options at once, but I'm not going to do that. So right now I only chose YouTube viewers. Then I can change the font settings, font color, font size, and that's really what I would mess with. And so now those are like the different inputs that you can do. I'm just going to hide those uh, for now so that it's not in the way. Uh, but so basically, that's the basis if you guys wanted to record like that. But I'm going to show you guys a little different. Uh, so if you wanted to add a face cam, that would be video capture device right here. Uh, then you would enable that, and now you can see. You would add the source, and right here, my lighting is not good, but then you can adjust it wherever you want. Let's say I want it up here, so that it's not there. Uh, then you would... If you wanted to edit it, you click in here again, uh, and I have it as my webcam, but if I wanted to change it to my integrated webcam, I would just choose that. Uh, there's a few other things that you can do, like configure the video, configure the crossbar. Uh, you can change the resolution uh, for certain ones, the frames per second, uh, and a few other things that you can do. And I can also flip it vertically, 
which will, uh, one second while I do that, it will flip me upside down and it's kind of weird. If you wanted to do that, that can be, uh, weird, but you could do it. And there's a few other things that's like built only with the certain webcam I have. And that's really all that I will be sharing with you guys in this video. Uh, so you guys can see, uh, all the ways that you can input your stuff and just have your faces set up. So if you guys did want to start recording, this is one way that you guys can record. And if you guys want me to post a video on how to record uh, to your Xbox based off uh, using Streamlabs and your PC, let me know and I will gladly do that video. Just let's get this to 5 likes and I'll definitely do that. If you guys want me to, let me know in the comments. Hopefully you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out guys.